Hi Wedding Sutra, this is Vikram Mehta from Empire Weddings. I would say personalized, um, sincere and contemporary. Easiest way to remain eco-friendly at a wedding is just to say no to plastic every single time. It works every single time. Just uh, it works whether it's at the preparation period, whether it's your hampers, return gifts, it's your vendors, decoration, kitchen, or even if it's your final execution with the guest. I think just say no to plastic. It works every single time. It's something with uh, which is such a small thing which has a really huge impact. I think post coronavirus, you'll see a lot more families. Uh, running to take insurance covers, I think a lot of Indian weddings will start having insurance co covers. Almost becomes necessity, imperative to have that now. Uh, the other thing would be, I think, a lot of hygiene check would become a very big thing at Indian weddings, which is a good thing. Sanitization, masks, having uh, people wearing the right attire, hygiene levels just go up. I think that's a good thing at weddings. Um, the thing which I see with a negative impact, a really bad impact, would be some destinations would be would be obvious collateral damage. Uh, I think you might see a lot of destinations which have been like say Southeast Asia places which have been impacted by it. Even, even if there's complete recovery, you might see them uh, being uh, not really uh, shopped around at uh, much by Indian wedding. So even sometimes out of just fear and myth. But even a few months, years down the line, you might see a few of the uh, highly affected uh, areas not really recovering that soon. That That is an, a major impact I see of coronavirus. I think one message that I want to give all my clients, families, brides who are seeing this is that we're all in this together. It's not just you, it's everyone. All of us are affected. Everyone's disheartened, anxious, and we're all in this together. That's the only respite or the only plus side you can take out of this. I would have to go for hangover. It gets me every single time. I think uh, it's aspirational for grooms to be. It's, it's a terrific movie to watch. I, I, would, I would go for that. Toughest thing I've done for a wedding, uh, there are quite a few, but I think sitting inside a tax union office with 75 livid drivers, uh, trying to address their grievances with the hotel so that they can come to a consensus, consensus so that we can go ahead and plan the wedding. I think my favorite uh, wedding sutra gift registry is Help Age India, which works with the elders, the elderly people. I think we are so lost in trying to make the future that sometimes we tend to ignore and forget the people who helped us make our present. So for me, that's a very special cause. I would say that just go online, research a lot more. Check out blogs like Wedding Sutra, social media, and it's all rampant out there. You can check out the videos, see what resonates with you, what doesn't. Once you're clear with that, probably coordinate or make sure that you communicate that to your wedding planner so you can understand your vision and execute it easily.